आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव आजादी का सफर विद ए आई आर न्यूज इन टूडेज एपिसोड वी रिमेम्बर रेवोल्यूशनरी फ्रीडम फाइटर मानबेंद्र नाथ रॉय हु डाइड ऑन द ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ऑफ जनवरी M N Roy was born on 22nd March 1887 at Arbelia North 24 Parganas of West Bengal towards the end of the 19th century revolutionary nationalism began to spread in Bengal Roy was inspired by the writings of Bankim Chandra Chatterjee and Vivekanand In the wake of the partition of Bengal he came in contact with the militant nationalists and was introduced to the Anushilan Samiti of Arbindo Ghosh He worked with Bagha Jatin and was arrested in 1910 in the Havra Shipur conspiracy case On release Roy traveled in the garb of a sanyasi until 1914 At the outbreak of the First World War, an emissary from Berlin came to Calcutta and assured revolutionaries of German help. Accordingly, M. N. Roy was sent to Batavia to negotiate the deal with the German Consul General. It was arranged that a shipment of arms and ammunition would be delivered in the Sundarban area. However, the cargo did not arrive. When M. N. Roy went back to Batavia, he found the German diplomats non-cooperating. He resolved not to return to India without arms. He pursued his mission by contacting the revolutionaries in Indochina, the Philippines, Korea, Japan and the USA. When American police began to round up Indian revolutionaries in the USA in 1917 as German spies, Roy fled to Mexico. He delivered lectures and published articles on India and the US foreign policy of the Monroe Doctrine that created a sensation. Lenin invited Roy to participate in the Second World Congress of the Communist International in Moscow in 1920. Later, Roy was placed in charge of the Asian Bureau of Communist International with headquarters at Tashkent. Roy came to India in 1930 and was arrested and tried for sedition. On his release in November 1936, Roy joined the Indian National Congress. With the declaration of World War II, M. N. Roy condemned the rising fascism in Germany and Italy, instead supported England and France in the fight against fascism. He left the Congress party and created the Radical Democratic Party in 1940. M. N. Roy devoted the last years of his life to the formulation of an alternative philosophy, which he called radical humanism. Radical humanism was based on the latest developments in the field of biology and social sciences. It is called radical humanism because M. N. Roy refuted the existence of God and other extra-worldly realities in a radical way. We salute the great nationalist.